Hello, this is Dr. Carlo Oger, emergency physician and founder of edxitvideo.com. This video is about shingles. Shingles, or herpes zoster, is a painful blistering skin rash due to varicella zoster virus, the virus that causes chickenpox. After you get chickenpox, the virus remains inactive or becomes dormant in certain nerves of the body. Shingles occurs after the virus becomes active again in these nerves years later. The reason the virus becomes active is not clear. Often, only one attack occurs. Often, stress, anxiety, a sunburn, a cold, any kind of stress factor can provoke this virus to get activated. Shingles may develop in any age group but you're more likely to develop it if you're older than 60, you had chickenpox before age 1, and your immune system is weakened by medications or disease. If an adult or child has direct contact with the shingles rash on someone and has not had chickenpox as a child or chickenpox vaccine, they can develop chickenpox rather than shingles. The first symptom is usually one-sided pain, tingling, or burning. The pain and burning may be severe and is usually present before any rash appears. Red patches on the skin, followed by small blisters, form in most people. The blisters break, forming small ulcers that begin to dry and form crust. The crust falls off in two to three weeks. Scarring is rare. The rash usually involves a narrow area from the spine around to the front of the belly area or chest. The rash, rash may involve the face, eyes, mouth, and ears. Additional symptoms may include abdominal pain, chills, difficulty moving because of the pain, uh, drooping of the eyelid if the rash is on the face, fever, chills, general ill feeling, genital lesions, headache, hearing loss, joint pain, loss of eye motion, swollen glands or lymph nodes, taste problems, and vision problems. You may also have pain, muscle weakness, and a rash involving different parts of your face if shingles affects the facial nerve. The diagnosis. Your doctor can make the diagnosis by looking at your skin and asking questions about your medical history. Tests are rarely needed, but may include taking a skin sample to see if the skin is infected with the virus that causes shingles. Blood tests may show an increased white blood cells and antibodies to the chickenpox virus, but cannot confirm that the rash is due to shingles. Treatment. Your doctor may prescribe a medicine that fights the virus, called an antiviral. The drug helps reduce the pain and complications and shorten the course of the disease. A cyclovir, famcyclovir, or valacyclovir may be used. The medication should be started within 24 hours of feeling the pain or burning and preferably before the blisters appear. The drugs are usually given in pill form and in doses many times greater than those recommended for herpes simplex or genital herpes. Some people may need to receive the medicine through a vein. Strong anti-inflammatory medicines called corticosteroids such as prednisone may be used to reduce the swelling and the risk of continued pain. These drugs do not work in all patients. Other medications include antihistamines to decrease the itching, pain medication like Percocet, and Sostrix, a cream containing capsaicin, an extract of pepper that may reduce the risk of post herpetic neuralgia. Home care. Cool wet compress can be used to reduce the pain. Soothing baths and lotions, such as colloidal oatmeal baths, starch baths, or calamine lotion may help relieve the itching and discomfort. Resting in bed until the fever goes down is recommended. The skin should be kept clean and contaminated items should not be reused. Non-disposable items should be washed in boiling water and otherwise disinfected before reuse. The person may need to be isolated while the lesions are oozing to prevent infecting other people who have never had chickenpox, especially pregnant women. Herpes zoster usually clears in two to three weeks and rarely recurs. If the virus affects the nerves that control movement, the motor nerves, you may have temporary or permanent weakness or paralysis. Sometimes the pain in the area where shingles occurred may last for months to years. This is called post-herpetic neuralgia. 
make sure you watch my video about that complication. Other complications include another attack of shingles, blindness, deafness, infection, bacterial skin infection, even Ramsey-Hunt syndrome if the shingles affects the nerves in the face. You must call your healthcare provider if you have symptoms of shingles, particularly if you have a weakened immune system or if you have symptoms that persist or worsen. Shingles that affect the eye may lead to permanent blindness if you do not receive emergency medical care. Avoid touching the rash and blisters of persons with shingles or chickenpox if you have never had chickenpox or the chickenpox vaccine. Herpes zoster vaccine is available. It is different than the chickenpox vaccine. Older adults who receive herpes zoster vaccine are less likely to have complications from shingles. Adults older than 60 should receive the herpes zoster vaccine as part of routine medical care. If there is increased redness, discharge, fevers and chills, increasing pain or otherwise you're getting worse, come back to the emergency department. For other videos like this video, please go to edxavideo.com. But remember, these are educational videos and should never replace the attention or care of a medical healthcare professional. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel.